morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I want to start with a prayer. Father God, I thank you that you've allowed me to live another day. Father God, I thank you for a family. I thank you for nourishing it. I thank you for clothes. I thank you for all you've done for me. And all who are watching this video. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So today, our topic is going to be how to best prepare yourself for service of the Lord. The kingdom of God needs ready and able servants. The holy scriptures are the power that we can use to fight darkness and wickedness. Mm -hmm. Fighting and warfare is not everything, however. One must be able to attack, but also able to defend. Amen. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 Ask and it shall be given you Seek and ye shall find Knock and it shall be opened unto you For everyone that asketh receiveth And he that seeketh findeth And to him that knocketh it shall be opened God wants his people to be happy He cares about how they feel The Lord can help anyone but in his word, he said he gave man a free will, which means that he cannot help those who do not want it. God will not go against his own word. The strength of his will is infallible and beyond compare. But through his strong love and compassion, he chose to give humanity the opportunity to seek him for guidance and comfort. Mm -hmm. When you trust in God, he provides you with peace beyond understanding. This is the peace that lasts through the strongest storms. Amen. The peace that rejects the fear that torment the world. A part of the armor of God is the shield of faith. Mm -hmm. When you have enough faith in God, you can have peace that deflects worries and doubts. Amen. God can without question do anything. There is no task too hard for him to accomplish nor is there any obstacle that he cannot overcome. It is simply due to his grace and mercy that a door to enter into the kingdom of heaven is available to us. Yes. God should not be doubted simply because he is undetectable to the eye. A great way to observe God's wonderful work is to breathe. Mm. All you have to do is breathe. Wow. Every, every inhale, every exhale, it is God's choice to keep you and I alive. Yes. Matthew chapter 6, verse 26. Mm -hmm. Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Hallelujah. The world's current condition is not too great, and it will not get better anytime soon. God does not expect a perfect disciple, and this is because such a thing is not possible. Mm -hmm. Only God himself is without error. Yes. Every single human that exists is flawed, and the Lord is aware of this. God's use of humans shows something quite spectacular about God, and that will be his love. Amen. God is aware of all slain by the hands of a murderer. He knows everything taken by a thief. He sees every deed done in darkness, every unclean action. Mm -hmm. This cannot stop God, however. He wants sinners to choose and come to him, as well as Christians who are struggling or making unwise choices, mm -hmm. so that he can erase their sins and free them from spiritual death. The Lord does not wish that any soul be lost. His mercy is vast. Yes. An important flaw to focus on is fear. Mm -hmm. Fear is a significant hindrance to peace. To have the peace of God is to be calm. To have comfort even when it seems to others that such a thing cannot be found. Mm. 
to have fear is to have a clouded and chaotic mind. Constantly worry about the things God can handle and tells his people not to fear. Fear is an understandable thing to experience as a Christian. You must use your God-given power in these times to remember that your Lord and Savior shall protect you as you obey him. Yes. God is fully aware of what is best for us, and that is why it is wise for us to trust him and obey him. A person cannot see God at work simply with their eyes. Mm -hmm. You must seek God for insight into the spiritual realm. Yes. Sometimes it seems that God is not there, but this is not the case. If you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior and received the Holy Spirit of God, God is there. Yes, he is. Even if you're a sinner, yeah. he watches us all. God does not want to give up on you. Only you can give up on him. Yes. Always remember, seek the peace of the Lord and read his word to fill yourself with his wisdom. God has given man a free will. Be sure to use him wisely. Amen. That was my message for today. Wow. I pray that it blessed you. Hallelujah. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Um, I got to take a moment because um, as I'm listening to him this morning, I, I almost forgot he was 14 years old, you know, because of the wisdom coming from him out of the, um, the book, you know from studying the word of God. And we were listening to a worship song before service by William Murphy saying, God is no respecter of persons and he gives the same grace. So even a 14 year old, those that are looking right now, you may be a young person thinking that, you know, God can't use you, but he's given you the same grace and so, I, I don't know if you know this, Moses, but I'm speaking truthfully, not just as a parent trying to, um, you know, pump you up in any way. I was really edified, you know? I was like staring into the message like, oh my goodness, this is fresh manna from heaven, you know? And it surprises me, to be honest, because sometimes, like I said, as teenagers, you see them, you know, doing certain things and to, to know that he has that connection with the Father where he can get a message like that. No matter what you're doing, we are all flawed, right? As he said, no man is perfect, but God uses imperfect vessels that are humble and that are willing to be shaped and molded and have an attentive ear. And that ear comes from having the Holy Spirit, right? Because God speaks to us through his Holy Spirit. So I am so excited to hear that word, you know. And I, and I know the enemy because this is how he does. Maybe he's going to try a little trick later on. But we know that we have the victory over him in every area. And I say that because as the youth begin to step out in God, the enemy is going to try to do things to pull them back into a negative area. He's going to use people places and things to get them off track but you have to stay focused and parents you have to stay prayerful over your children because God desires to use them for his honor and for his glory and to be powerful ministers at their young age they can bring down the glory of God they can break chains they can put demons on the run. It's not a matter of chronological age. It is a matter of spiritual maturity and intimacy with the Father. That's what causes us to gain strength. It doesn't matter if you are 99 years old, if you have not been in intimate relations with the Father and in his word, you have no power you are not mature in the things of God, no matter your age. Amen? Amen. 
someone 15 years old that have been studying would be older than that old person in the kingdom, you know? So we got to take our eyes off of what we look like physically, our age. So, as you can tell, I'm excited about that. And I just wanted to say, he mentioned that all of these blessings, all of these things are because God has given his love to us to give us a doorway into the kingdom. He's given us a way to come to him. So I am here to offer that doorway to you, to give you an opportunity to walk into the family of God so that you can have intimate relations with your father in heaven who wants to pour his spirit into you. He wants to strengthen you. He wants to use you in these last and evil days. So if you have your scriptures, whether it be a physical book or your tablet, go to Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10, and repeat after me, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Hallelujah. So if you recited that, that means you've made the first step into the kingdom of God. And as we say, the next step is to be baptized and to be filled with his precious Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, you need that Holy Ghost. You need that fire. You need that power from on high. If this word has encouraged you, if you are blessed, please do not leave without sub subscribing to this channel without clicking on the bell so you will be notified when we go live. And I have a word coming to you next Sunday. And the title is, Is Your Connection to the Blood Severed or Clogged? Go with God. We love you with the love of God. In the name of Jesus, amen.